All right, guys, we got a good turtle out in front of us. Camera's rolling. This could be it. Get through, get through. home to many reptilian species. And while several of them are found within the confines of the continent's interior, beyond the tide, you will find one of the world's most cherished animals, the green sea turtle. In the past, I've had the chance to swim alongside these elegant and timeless beings, yet strict regulations prohibit anyone from making physical contact with these reptiles. However, on this adventure, that is all about to change. Today, the crew and I are heading off the coast of Bowen, a small town situated at the top of the Whit Sundays on the eastern side of Queensland. Under the invitation of the World Wildlife Fund, we will be given the chance to work alongside the traditional owner rangers from Jeru and Bindal people. These rangers take responsibility for the management and protection of their sea country, including iconic species like the green sea turtle. Their work includes safely catching, collecting data, and tagging these magnificent marine reptiles so scientists can then determine what is happening to the turtle population and ensure that the species is continuing to thrive in these warm waters. And as a Birragaba Jiru elder, I'd like to welcome you to the country and hope you have a good day. Okay, what's going on? Doing a smoke ceremony right now, and the flames are just welcoming us into this, this community. Flames, I consider myself to be an expert when it comes to catching turtles, and my method of leaping from kayaks to catch snapping turtles has often proven to be incredibly successful. Catching sea turtles, however, is a very different challenge. As compared to snapping turtles, these ocean-dwelling reptiles are incredibly fast, and instead of leaping feet first from a slow rowing kayak, I will be jumping from a speeding boat. The good news is that I will be apprenticing a man who I now consider to be the greatest turtle catcher of all time, Aaron Taters. He will be showing me the tricks of the trade that he has spent several years mastering and which have resulted in the safe capture, data collection, tagging, and release for hundreds of sea turtles. So what are you looking for, Aaron? You looking for shadows in the water? Yeah, we're looking for a sort of a dark brown figure. Okay. We'll see the turtles still, or the sit still, or they'll make a move for it. The moment they move, we tell Eddie, yep, he's off to the right, and that's what we're chasing then. Gotcha. Yeah, this is kind of the same way I search for snapping turtles. I look for a dark shadow beneath the surface. Yeah, that's right. Wait for it to start moving. I know it's not a rock, and then you make it go. Yep. We, sometimes you will get confused because there's a lot of stingray around here. They just before you sing out, yeah, there's a turtle, just make yeah. sure you see his flippers first and Got then it. start chasing. Good year to one, good year to one, this is Little Dot Gungu. Any turtle sighted yet? Not yet, but we're working on it. We'll keep you posted. Roger that, over and out. There he is there. To the right. Oh, got a turtle thrower right here. He's just in front of us. Go left. So really quick. Go on left. Upon spotting several smaller turtles and witnessing their impressive speed, I quickly realized that catching a sea turtle was going to be much more difficult than I had originally anticipated. There's a big turtle here, big one, big one. a rough miss, but the good news is that Aaron was right there to follow up with an epic dive and successful catch. Boy, does he make it look easy. Ah! 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 Dude, I had his front flipper! 
shirt yeah. in my hand. Yeah, I thought that's what I, I had his flipper. <laughs> I said that. I said he's got him. Oh. Uh, uh, well, great catch again, Aaron. Dude, that was epic. All right. Oh, I was so close. That was the one. I had the entire flipper in my hand and it went whoop right out. I tried to grab the back of the shell, couldn't do it. But at least we caught the turtle. Let's get it onto the research boat, get the biometrics, and keep at it. As a team, our rate of success was fantastic. Yet my personal performance was lackluster at best. I could feel that my confidence for catching sea turtles was beginning to sink. Yet Aaron, being the incredible mentor that he was, continued to encourage and critique my style. It was the same thing before. I was not in front of the turtle. Time was running out, and my window to land a giant was beginning to close, when the boat slowly motored into a clear stretch of water that revealed a massive dark shadow beneath the surface. All right, guys, we got a good turtle out in front of us. Camera's rolling, this could be it. This was it. The pressure was on, and I would only have one dive, one chance to catch this turtle. Yep, yep, yep. Aaron kept his sights locked on the speeding reptile, waiting for an opportune moment when it would slow its forward momentum and prepare to breach the surface for a breath of air. This would be my window of opportunity, and in that instance, he shouted the command. Get ready, get ready. Size turtle right there, without question, the biggest turtle I've ever caught. <laughs> Man. Ah. I told you guys I'd do it. Oh, that's a big that's one. A male. That's a male. That's a male. Look at that tail. Oh, man. My goodness. That's a dragon tail. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Woo! That's my dragon right there! <laughs> Man! Best turtle catch ever! Of my life at least! Woo! Alright guys, we gotta get the rest of our gear, yep. get onto the research boat, get the biometrics, and then release this dragon back into the wild. Yes! Yes! I hope I caught all that on this camera. guys well there we have it there is the green sea turtle that i landed and he is an absolute giant this is the first male of the trip that we have caught an absolute beast can you guys believe this i can't believe you caught it that what was amazing catch. well when i jumped into the water i kind of went to the side i grabbed the side of its shell my hand slid down i held onto the back of the shell and actually climbed up the side of it to get right behind the back of the carapace and you can see how healthy this turtle is look at it is actually spilling out of its shell i know buddy now let's take a look at the carapace of this reptile it is massive and i love this teardrop shape you see that this allows these turtles to stay completely streamlined when they're swimming under the water. If you take a look here, look at the size of this turtle's tail. Just like a snapping turtle, male green sea turtles have an extremely long tail. Look at that. As long and as big around as my arm is. An absolute dragon tail right there. Now, you hear the name green sea turtle, and you may be thinking to yourselves, well, coyote, it's mostly brown in coloration. Why do they call it a green sea turtle? That name 
comes from a thick layer of green fat that exists just beneath the bone of the carapace that insulates them between the bone and all of their main organs. I know, buddy, you just want to get back out there into the ocean, don't you? Now, this guy's just fine. Don't worry. Sea turtles can stay out of the water for an extended period of time. Oh, what a beautiful turtle. Look at those eyes. Such kind, intelligent eyes. And you may notice that the turtle's eyes are very wet. Almost looks like it's crying. It's not crying. All turtles are capable of secreting a mucus from their eye membrane to help keep their eyes wet when they're out of the water. This goes for all turtles. Painted turtles, snapping turtles, spiny soft shells, even sea turtles have the ability to secrete that mucus. Now, you'll notice the beak of this reptile is not hooked because unlike a snapping turtle, they're not out there actually hunting for prey. When they get to be this big, they're completely herbivores, just kind of sifting along the bottom, eating algae and seagrass. And the underside, oh, let me see, look at that. You see how the lower part of the jaw is actually serrated? They have bolt cutter-like power that would easily snip off the edge of your finger. So when I jumped into the water, the first thing I was thinking was, don't get my fingers near the mouth of the turtle. All right, Coyote, I think, hey, Mario, why don't you uh, jump in there and help Coyote? Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. This turtle is so unbelievably strong. It, it doesn't want to spin. We want to keep it as calm as we possibly can. There you go, buddy. Mario, you kind of got it locked in place yeah. there? Yeah, sure good. Okay, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is get the length of the carapace. Tracy, if you got that measure, okay? Thank you. I know, buddy. I know. Shh, 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 shh. Sometimes what I do with snapping turtles is actually just to place my hand on top of the head. Try to talk a little bit quieter. Got them calmed down now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go right from the front edge of the carapace there. Mario, if you wanna just hold that in place. Yep, you're good. Right down the center line. It is right at 94 centimeters. Show me that real quick. Check that out. Without question, the largest turtle I have ever caught. Thank you, Tracy. All right, now the next thing we want to do is get this turtle's weight. Getting the turtle inside of this harness was one of the most difficult aspects of this whole episode so far. Do you guys have any guesses as to how much this turtle weighs? Uh, 240 pounds. 240 pounds. Mario? Uh, 250. 250. Oh, okay. Ben, what do you think? Hey, Ben, what do you think? I'm gonna go 275. 275. Wow, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go 230. I say it weighs 230. And good, Clear. turtle is off the ground. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. more. Why turtle? Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, he's, he's clear. 104.1 kilos. Bring it down. All right, five. 230 pounds. Wow. wow. You're right on the right. I guessed it. 230. <laughs> Amazing. 230 pounds is what this green sea turtle weighs. What an absolute giant. Amazing. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is tag the sea turtle. This one has never been tagged before, so that's really exciting for today's research. Where I'm going to tag it is right up here on its left fin between these two scales. You see that right there? Now, is that a fin or a flipper, Kennedy? Oh, I guess, yeah, it's, whether you call it a fin or you call it a flipper or a foot, sea turtles, and one of the things that really makes them different than other turtles, is you can see they do not have typical toes. And like other turtles, they're not actually able to tuck inside of their shells, even less so than a snapping turtle. This isn't gonna hurt. This is gonna be like getting your ear pierced. I'm gonna do this as quickly and as smoothly as possible. You got a good shot right there, Mark. Sure do. All right, big guy. This is just now gonna their be skin a is really thin. tough. This isn't hurting the turtle. No, this is this skin is like leather. And I'm gonna ratchet down real tight here. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Perfect. All right, the turtle is officially tagged. And as you guys know, I name all the turtles that I catch. And I think we're gonna name this one Eddie, after the man who so there perfectly captained the ship today and lined us up to be able to make this catch possible. I did not expect to catch a turtle this size. I was just hoping that I could catch a single sea turtle. And after getting the chance to stand on the front of that boat and watch Aaron dive in and catch several turtles, I said to myself, you know what? I think I can pull this off, but to catch one of this size is truly something that I never thought was possible. Biggest turtle I have ever caught. 
Wow, what an epic end to one amazing day here in Australia. And I have to give an enormous thank you to the World Wildlife Fund of Australia and the Gujarat Rangers for bringing us out, showing us the conservation work that they're doing and all the efforts they're making to not only preserve, but also protect these incredible marine reptiles. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, guys, it's time to get Eddie back off into the ocean. The green sea turtle represents everything that is beautiful about our oceans, and they are considered to be one of the most revered reptiles on our planet. Their sentient nature has made them an iconic figure in the world of conservation, yet the future of this creature is unknown, as their species is either considered threatened or endangered throughout their worldwide range. Still hope glows brightly on the horizon, as organizations like WWF and traditional owner rangers are constantly researching and promoting the environmental preservation and conservation of this species, ultimately ensuring a legacy for generations to come. If you thought diving in with sea turtles was exciting, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I battled the treacherous seas to swim in the presence of dragons. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next low tide adventure.